when you're really little, when you start, it's like that feeling of flying, right? That's so cool. Yeah. Do you still feel any of that, or is that just sort of like going to work now? It feels like work, but I choose to do it, so it's definitely fun. But then, of course, as I get older, the worries start to set in, like, okay, I'm in the air. If something goes wrong, like, I'm really going to hurt myself. But other than that, it's still really fun for me because I know one day down the road I'm not going to be able to do it again, and I'm going to wish I could. Absolutely astonishing. The greatest of all time. Two flips, two twists, one piece of air. <laughs> there you go. Seven-time national champion. Three months too young for London, right? Yes. Would you, do you think you'd still be doing this if you had competed? Like, is there another world in which you're three months older and so your last Olympics was Rio? No, 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 no. The, you wouldn't have seen the same Simone. That was a mediocre Simone. So there definitely wouldn't be like the Simone Biles there is today if I would have gone to 2012 because it would have been a different picture. Right. Um, I would have probably got last place and never been invited back to national team ever again, so. Okay, so actually it worked out pretty well. It worked out very well. I needed that extra four years. Although at the time, it probably was a huge bummer. No, I wasn't sad at oh, all. You weren't sad at all? Nope. Okay. I was so not ready. Okay. I was a very bad gymnast before <laughs> that four-year right mark. Okay. What about emotionally? Was what, what's different now, and what kind of would you tell a 15-year-old yeah. Simone? I was a wreck. I was all over the place. I really wore like my emotions on my face and I was just a brat. Like I was so stubborn. I didn't do anything I was supposed to do in the gym. So that really didn't benefit me for my own good in the gym or for the goals that I was trying to achieve or said I wanted to achieve. So if I were to tell my younger self something, it would be to not be so stubborn and not be so afraid of the talent that I was given because I used to self-sabotage, because I was afraid of how I could be, because I was afraid I was gonna be a, on a big stage like I was in the expectations. The, le the level of greatness that was in front of you? Yes. You couldn't have handled that? Yeah, because I was already afraid of my potential, so I was already starting to do it. Right. How would you self-sabotage? Just in the gym, not do certain skills, because I knew then the harder ones would come along. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew if I could do some of those skills, I could do harder ones. Gotcha. And I just wasn't ready to be on a big world stage. And then I would just like, not punish myself, but I would kind of stay in the house if I had a bad practice and not do anything. And I would just think about gym all day long, even if I didn't have gym that day. I thought if I had a bad practice, it would carry over to the next day and then the next day and the next day and it would just be a repeating cycle. But now I leave all my emotions or whatever inside the gym, however practice goes, leave that there, go home, it's like, Okay, the Simone, the gymnast, is still not allowed in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I always felt like, not always, but I learned as I got older, gymnastics isn't my entire life. It's just a part of my life. Yeah, I feel like at 19, that's much harder to, to yes. do. Even if you hear people say it's not everything, like, it is yes. everything to you. Yeah, at that point it was because I hadn't been to the Olympics. It's like I, I hadn't established the gymnast that I was. Um, and now it's kind of just like, you know what, if I have a bad practice, I'm allowed to. It's okay, tomorrow will be better. I mean, you're at a tough place in that, like, there are at least three categories I feel like everybody wants to hear from you mm -hmm. from. Like, Black Lives Matter, Me Too, USAG. Yeah. You have a lot of things where your voice carries a lot of weight. It How does, and I, and I never realized that until I came out with Me Too, mm -hmm. um, and I realized the impact that I had, and like girls would jokingly come up and be like, oh, Simone, this isn't happening, tweet it, and I bet it will happen, and it's just like, that's when I realized the impact that I had, and then if I ever tweeted my feelings, people would really listen, and I just thought that was crazy because I didn't think I was that big of an impact. Um, and that's also scary because people expect you to speak out, and sometimes it can be triggering, it can be hard. And sometimes I would think you don't want to, like it's your own private thought. You don't yeah, always need to deal with whether a million people on Twitter agree with you. Yes, exactly. But at the end of the day, I feel like 
I'm helping other people out there and that's why I do it. Is that heavy? That's a, that seems like a lot, it to, is. a lot of pressure to put on yourself. It is, but at the end of the day, we're, we're not alone. And so it also helps me relieve some of those things that I feel like I'm alone with as well. What do you think people most get wrong about you? What, what would you like people to know? I don't know, I'm pretty much an open book, so everything you see on social media is kind of how I am. I really try to be open, honest, and raw with all of my followers. Um, but I think the misconception is I have it all together, but there are days where I just fall apart and I have mental breakdowns just like them. And I think like everything in the day is going wrong. Um, and I'm just a normal human being with feelings too. Do you feel like you're anything like a normal 24 yeah. year old? What is it like to be a 24 year old Simone? I definitely feel old because I've accomplished so much already. During quarantine, I actually got to feel like that 22, 23 year old and kind of be myself, like stay at home, do whatever. Um, obviously given quarantine, there are certain rules, but I just never got to do that because I was always traveling. I was always doing things that felt so above my age um, for how young I was. So now it's just kind of nice to have a good balance of both. Like that seems like kind of a difficult balance to strike or you're like tugged in two directions, right? You want to start your life and be a person, of but then you still love this thing. How do you, how do you balance those, those two desires? You always have to give something you love up on your own time. And I think that's why I, I would stop because I wouldn't want it taken from me and have a doctor say, you can't do this or it'll be really like hurtful to you. So I'd rather just like hang it up myself mm -hmm. and you just have to learn when it's your time, right? whenever that is. So is that part of why you would never actually have quit in this past year because it wouldn't have been on your terms? Yes, most definitely. You had to compete in Yeah. Year. starting to notice all of the possible lasts for you? Yes, and it's so scary. Obviously, I'll always be able to go into the gym and have fun, but I'm not always gonna be able to do a triple-double or all of the vials that I have, and that's just kinda, it's strange to think about. Yeah, and then there are like the literal, like, last nationals, last class, last, yeah. like that, I mean, unless you go back in Paris, and even if you do, it won't be the same. Yeah. Do you think you'll be thinking about those as they happen? No, because you never know when it's going to be your last. So you can't think about it if you don't know. But then you miss it. Like, then you miss feeling that moment, right? But I don't know if you want to feel that moment. That's true. Yeah. Because you almost put more pressure on yourself if you say, this is my last nationals. Then you have to make it the best. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's best to just not know and go with the flow. So you won't be thinking at Tokyo like this is it? Definitely not. <laughs>